Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Anonymous from Try Hack Me. This is a box rated about solid intermediate. Overall, pretty good box. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so to get started, I'm actually going to open my terminals here. Um, let me just uh, split these open. So I'm going to see into my... Um, into uh, Try Hack Me. My tab works. Okay, we're going to see into Anonymous. I already have the nmap.out, so I'm going to actually just more into nmap.out. Here we do scrolling down. Uh, we do have FTP. Also, do have uh, port uh, twenty two for open SSH. And also, do have um, SMB right. So first thing I'm gonna do is just do um, SMB uh, map. I'm gonna do SMB map uh, minus H for the host. Minus H for the host. Uh, we do have the IP address, which is uh, right here. We're gonna press enter on that. The next thing we're gonna do is use SMB client to connect to that. Um, SMB map does not seem to work or so I actually do have the right IP address right here uh, it's for SMB ports here uh, so we do have print which is a no access we also have picks and IPC so here we're going to type in the IP address we're also going to do forward slash for uh, picks and you do see that we can just press enter as no password. We can do ls and we do have a uh, cargo to jpg. So I'm maxed out of this. I'm gonna go under my uh, try hack me and anonymous. Uh, we can run the same command again, press enter. ls, we do have a uh, cargo to jpg. And we can get our uh, puppos uh, jpeg, right? So we can X out of this. Uh, here we do have uh, those two uh, pictures there, right? So we do have FTP enabled. So we're gonna do um, FTP. We can press enter on that. We can log in as anonymous. Press enter. We can do Alice. Um, here we do have scripts. So we can. Uh, I'm just gonna do recursive on this. We're gonna do FTP, or we can just do wget um, FTP. Do minus R. FTP on the IP address. We can press enter. It's going to get all the files from us from the FTP server, right? So now this is all downloaded into our uh, files. Let me actually cd into try hack me. Run this command again, actually. There you go. We can run this again. So it's under our try hack me directory. So now you see, we do see that we have a directory for the IP address. We're going to cd into uh, 10. We do have a uh, scripts. Uh, let's be into clean.sh. Uh, you do see that this is a cron job, so we can just quit all this. Uh, let's look at the other files. We do have um, remove files.log and also um, to do.txe. Uh, just show that we need to disable anonymous login, which I already, we already got anonymous login, right? Uh, so let's see these scripts again, actually. Um, let me clear this. Uh, I'm a vi into clean.sh. And here, um, let me just quit this. I'm going to echo uh, a blank space. I don't have to erase all that into uh, clean.sh. Now we can vi into clean.sh. And we do have a blank uh, document, right? So I'm going to spawn a uh, Python uh, reverse uh, shell. Um, so we're going to be looking in for, uh, we're going to be looking for Python IPv4. Let's just copy this. Uh, let's enter this uh, here. I'm going to do ifconfig for my IP address. Uh, we can enter this here. I'm going to turn to interactive mode. Uh, we can delete this and also uh, run this on port uh, 4444. Delete 4444, right? So I'm gonna start all wrap. Um, let me. I'll start an all wrap down here. So I'll start all wrap netcat minus uh, Allen VP. We'll do this on four 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 four. So now we can log in into the FTP server, right? So we can use the put command to get our file from our local to the server, right? So I'm gonna do FTP um, to the IP address. Um, or what was the IP address again? Which was uh. FTP 
can FTP into that. Anonymous. We can press enter. Now we have a login successful. Um, let's cd into scripts ls. And now we're going to be replacing our scripts. Now we're going to be replacing our clean.sh. So now we're going to uh, get, or not get, but put clean.sh from our local machine. And from here, we should get a reverse shell. If I did, if I am under that directory. So since this is a cron job, we could, this might take a little bit, a little while to run to get a connection back. And you see that we did have our local SH and remote SH. Um, I think I did. And we did get a connection back. Um, if I didn't get a connection back, usually um, it can probably be the version of Python. Um, if this wouldn't work, I would get, I would just, just try for Python 3. And most likely I would uh, get a shell back too, right? But in this case, there is Python 2 and 3 installed. Um, so here, um, under here, we can go under cds2 slash uh, home. There's our cat, uh, we can cat our user.txt. So I'm cd back. We do have our pics uh, user.txt, so I'm gonna just uh, export out our term. The next thing we're gonna actually um, export, or not export, um, to priv esque, we're actually gonna use the um, SCID uh, cheat sheet. Uh, we can go under here, we can do SUID. Um, here we're gonna use this one. We can press in on that. Uh, we can wait for this to load. And the one we're going to be using is actually uh, user bin envy. Uh, so for this to work, we're going to go to GTFO bins. We're going to um, GTFO bins. We can go envy. Uh, we do see that it's envy right here. Uh, we can actually get uh, for this year, SUID. We can run um, let's script out uh, envy real quick. Yeah, so we do have envy here. Um, we can just uh, copy, we're gonna run envy user sh at minus minus p. We can do um, id, now we do, you do see that we are in a root. So now we can cd into root, alice, and there is our root.txt, right? Well guys, that's pretty much in the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.